Hey, it's the old Duffer again. Do something a bit different this time. Uh, if I turn the camera that way, um, we run a load of Milwaukee uh, 18 and 12 volt uh, equipment grinders and stuff like that. These batteries are pretty much a week old or so. They've been sat on the side for months. I was trying to look at them. So I thought I'd take them apart and see why they don't work. A lot of them have been replacing the warranty and they failed. So if I split the camera around, so you can have a right do you think by any chance that might have something to do with the reason it doesn't work and we've got a few here that aren't actually spot welded on they're just there and you're thinking this is just really poor quality manufacture nothing more i haven't opened the rest yet so i'm sure they'll probably be the same um i'm going to try and solder these on here i can't sort of hold my camera and and uh, with my phone because I'm on my own today uh, and sold at the same time quite often the heat from a heavy soldering iron tends to stuff the batteries but they're stuffed anyway and I ended up with these failing then replacements being sent then they failed within a week or two and I got my money back and it doesn't matter whether you buy you know one make or you know where are we another make um, they all seem to be equally rubbish unfortunately so um let me solder this up and we'll come back to it. Right. There we go. It actually soldered up really well. The battery's tinned up under there and there um, without any trouble at all, not too much heat. Because I'm using uh, my old weller here, which is a 50 watt iron with a big bit in it. So it gets hot quick. Hopefully that hasn't stuffed the cells because they don't like it up them. Um, and uh, I'm going to chuck it on charge and see what happens um, once it's, it seems to have gone cold now. So. Um, yeah, let's give it a go and, and see what happens and I'll um, open a few more. Right, and a couple of sets of cells, this one being one of them, I think I can make it move. But that there, you notice that's broken away completely. So whether that's the reason this one's conked out, I, this is the second one. I've got two of these marketed by these people and both of them had the same fault. One cell is loose, you can see that, and it's broken the connections. The others I can't find any dud cells in. I'll solder that up and see what it does. Now with these two particular cells made by or marketed by these people, same sort of construction you can see here. When I uh, reconnected that broken cell, we got two lights instead of the one, and this one is exactly the same. So connecting that cell has obviously um, made a difference. Let's bung them on charge and see what well, happens. Interestingly, this one, where I had to solder one broken, uh, where is it, battery, there it is, cell. This won't charge, the charger just flashes as though it's a dud cell. The other one of this type, um, it is taking a charge now. And this is the first one I did, where I had to solder out sort of five of them. This is now taking a charge. So I'm going to put it back together. I've got some... Um, the, they're just using you know, sticky number plate tape, double-sided foam tape. Uh, I'll stick some more of that back on the side. I'll put it back in its box, the, certainly these two, and we'll try them and see what happens. It would be nice to recover one or two of them. Um, but the cells seem to check out all right, so I'm a little sceptical. Maybe it's a little control card on the top that's actually gone up the swanee, um, and it's not actually anything to do with the cells. Who knows? Yeah, we get another one of these. Um, this is... Uh... Six amp hour battery fail. I think this was a couple of years old, probably had a bit of a pasting, so it doesn't seem unreasonable. But if you buy a so called genuine Milwaukee battery, they're not nine amp hours, they're eight amp hours, and they're like 113 quid. They're made in China, same as all these other batteries, they're all made in China. So, why are they so much more expensive? And do they actually last? These cheaper ones are supposed to have a five year warranty. Some of them didn't last one charge, let alone five years. Um, if anybody out there knows where I can get M18 batteries that aren't 113 quid a pop, um, could you let us know? Because it just seems a bit of a racket, really, doesn't it? You know, how can one factory turn out identical batteries that obviously don't have the quality, and the others are charging so much money? But anyway, there you go, just a different topic for, for a change.